Thousands of people are being asked to pay membership fees to GP clinics to access bulk billed medical care. The GP in regional Victoria, which is charging patients an annual fee of up to $330, is one of nearly 100 clinics across Australia that has introduced membership fees for patients. Nicole Higgins is the president of the Royal Australian College of General Practitioners and she joins us now. Nicole, thank you very much for your ta time. So by doing this, uh, GPs are getting money from patients, they're getting public money through Medicare bulk billing. What's your view of this practice? Yeah, thanks, Ros. This reflects a situation where we've had chronic underfunding of Medicare and patients' Medicare rebates. So what these practices are doing are trying to provide solutions for their patients, but also trying to keep their doors open. Do we know how widespread it is? Uh, there's only a very small number of practices who are looking at the membership fees. What we do know are that Medicare rules are very, very clear in that you can't bulk bill and you know, charge a fee on the same service. But it is a real grey area around Medicare membership fees. It sounds like you're defending the GPs who are doing this. All I'm saying is that we need to actually have a look at why this is happening. And that is because with you know, Medicare funding for general practice has been reducing our patients rebate, which is the money you get back from the government when you see your GP, hasn't kept up with the cost of providing care. So we really need to increase our patient rebates so that we're not having these types of discussions. Nicole, this was first reported back uh, in April. Um, have steps been taken since then to stop it and to address what's been happening? As I said, it's actually a real grey area within the legislation. So we do need to get legal clarity around if uh, this is something that is uh, able to happen. This is not how most practices work. And our, our concern is that the gap has been increasing for patients and they're facing rising out-of-pocket fees because the Medicare rebate simply hasn't kept up with the cost of providing care. So it's unclear, you say that it breaches Medicare rules, but it's unclear whether it's illegal for GPs to charge an additional fee. So it's on the same service. So it reflects that Medicare is incredibly complicated and complex. And we know that if you're Bob Bill, we can't charge a fee for that, that same service, but there's no clarity around membership fees as such. And, and that's going to require a, a legal review to see if that's the case. But to people hearing this story, it smacks of exploitation of patients by cheap GPs to charge this extra fee for medical treatment. So this, this is a way, as I said, practices are trying to find ways to support their patients. And the, the gap that's been in charge has been increasing over time. GP practices are closing and those doors need to be kept open. So we really need to increase our patients' rebates so that we can be able to see the GP uh, freely because it's your GP who you know, knows you and your family and your history. Okay, so for the patients who do pay the membership fee, uh, they must work out that it's still cheaper for them than paying the private consultation charge. I guess you can't blame them for signing up to this. We need to make sure that there is in informed consent. And, you know, for a lot of patients now, if you're um, a, a child or if you're on a chronic disease plan, we know that there are incentives for those to be bot billed. And in fact, most practices do. Uh, and it most practices do not charge a membership fee. This is a very small number of practices and people have choice about, about where they attend. You say it's a very small number, but this practice, though, it's hard to detect, isn't it? That extra fee, the membership fee is hard uh, to spot in official numbers. Uh, so do you think perhaps that there are more GPs who are doing this than we know about now? No, so we, did, we had a look at this earlier in the year and as I said, out of the, a number of practices, only a, a, a handful across Australia and I think this ha really shines the spotlight on the lack of investment in general practice and primary care and we need to make sure that we put money into the system so we keep people out of expensive hospitals and ramping and this is highlighting the, the challenges that general practices face to keep their doors open. Right. There does seem to be evidence that this is happening a lot 
in regional areas, Nicole, where there are a few fewer bulk build practices available, it may be local people's most affordable GP option, but at the same time, they have no option but to pay the fee if they want to see the doctor. Um, as I said before, it's only, it is only a very small uh, percentage. I know in this particular regional town, there, there are um, uh, three practices, but that is not the case across Australia. And we need to make sure that patients are always able to access their GP and make sure that care is also affordable. Nicole Higgins, we appreciate you speaking to us today. Thank you. Thank you.